Hey there, my name is Marquis, and today I'm going to talk to you about how you and your company can use Asana to create a social media approval workflow that is easy to use for your staff and easy to understand for any of your clients. I know that social media planning, scheduling, content creation can be a really daunting task. And so what I'm gonna show you today is how to use Asana to build a workflow that is easily understandable, that your clients will really love and feel like they're a part of, and your team can really use to make sure that their workload and their workflow is streamlined. So what I've done here is I've created a template within Asana, and um, there's so many different ways you can do this. We've tried, um, millions of them um, but this is the one that we find works the easiest for us and our, our clients feel like they can get involved and so what I've done is I've created a project um, of course you can you know use different views and whatever works for you um, but I like the list view um, for the purpose of this of this template here and so we have all of our weeks set up so you would come in you would fire up the template you would change the month here. We use initials for our clients, so it would be you know the first and uh, last initials of that client. And then we set up week one through five, um, really simply. The top line, we set that up as what we call our content status. Um, so that is week one, week two, week three, week four, and so on. Because the problem that we were running into um, previously is that there was just so much happening and our social media managers and content planners you know, we're, we're getting notifications for every single thing. And so at the end of the month, you would have something that looked like this. And of course, what does that do to your inbox, right? It fills up your tasks and there's just unnecessary things that you don't need to have displayed there. And so what we've done just to make it a little bit easier for everybody, let me just delete those a second. What we've done is just created one line where we'll assign everything to. And so I will point out that each of these lines, so if this is post number one through four, they all start out in draft. And then I've created these custom fields where you have different approval workflows. So once it's um, not in draft anymore, our, our lead social media manager or specialist will move it to be reviewed. And so that means that they've gone in, they've created all their captions, right? caption here they put in all their hashtags have uploaded all their content and it's ready for the next person to review it and take it over and that's typically someone that's internal on our team and then once that happens our internal team approves it if the client is in the project we, we then um, uh, assign it to the client once they have done their thing once they've gone through it and approved everything then they hand it back to the social media manager and then it gets scheduled into our scheduling software but how do we keep everyone accountable and everyone on the same page as to what's happening and when if these are not all scheduled? So the way that we do that is we use this top line and we use it as a milestone. So this is the only thing that ever gets applied. So first it will start off because I'm the only one in this workspace. Um, just imagine for a minute that I am both the client, the social media manager and the project manager. So I would assign it to myself. The due date is, let's just make it today. So the first stage in our content planning is always to plan the content. And so what that really means is you give a really good overview of what's happening. So we put in the theme here, um, and this is really theme or you know topic of, of that post. And so I would go in and my job today is to plan all the content for week one. Once that's all done, I move it to create captions. So I would move it to the social media manager or the specialist. And then they would go in to each of these posts and they put caption here, more info, hashtags, etc., images and media, right? And so of course this is now ready to be reviewed because all of our information is in there. Then what they would do is they would go and hand it over to our internal project manager or the client and then change the status to approve captions. So that person gets notified that everything is ready. Let's just update those quickly to be reviewed, right? All for week one, you get this notification, you come in, I need that done by tomorrow, right? And then once that person has finished it, whether it's the internal stakeholder or the client, they would then switch it back over to the social media manager, right? And then the social media manager would be able to schedule it of course, the client had already approved everything. Once they see that, it is scheduled out. 
perfect. And then all posts have been scheduled or the social media manager in this case gets a notification for it to be scheduled. Once that is completed, you check off that milestone and it's all done. And for the purpose of this, I like to see all tasks just so you can see what's happening right there. And that is our approval workflow for um, social media calendars. So there's so many different uses for this, so many different ways, but we found that there was just too much information and too many notifications for those social media managers for our internal team. And this one line assigning all responsibilities and tasks just made that so much easier. So if you have any tips on how you use Asana to create social media management, content creation workflows, I'd love to hear from you uh, because the thing that I love about Asana the most is that there's no right or wrong way to use it. This is just one of the ways that we found is easiest for our team. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you think it would be helpful to someone on your team or a colleague, please share this video with them. But thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.